Yeah, I dragged a little Model A truck up underneath the overhang here to try to get some of the frame cleaned down, get it painted. Getting rain here way too far into uh, October. I don't know. We'll have a really strange weather cycle this year that normally these heavy rains like this are usually you know during August and on their way out in September but I'm telling you it, it rained yesterday it come down hard I mean like right over there I mean it's flooded up in there all the way up in them trees I mean it come down for probably five hours solid so I don't know it's really crazy it's kinda patterns change but anyhow I'm gonna try to get on this thing and get the frame paint it and get the engine in the thing get it running all right I just drilled the rivets out of these brackets they're rusted I have to replace them and then on this side of the frame some stuff had gathered in there and so I'm gonna drag it up in the shop and grind that out and weld a piece in that there you go, a little piece of metal up in there. I'm going to see if we can weld that hole up. rusty stuff. frame gone. Get in primer and move on to another one. Alright I gotta run a uh, run a coat of fish gut on there and uh, I'll put some black on there tomorrow but it's kind of late in the evening and uh, black might blush. Not that I really care but you know see the whole thing is is you guys watching these videos of this thing a while back is I, I did just the front of the frame up to the motor mounts right there and that's all I was gonna do I just want to do the engine compartment to where I could get the engine in the thing then I wound up pulling the tranny out and going through the tranny and uh, so I went ahead and got that area done because any of that once the motor and tranny's in it's gonna be tough to get in there and wire wheel it and paint any of that so I just wanted to get that whole area done and uh, then any of the back stuff once I get it in there. But I want to get the motor and tranny in. I'm going to try to get it in. I'll run some black on there tomorrow. I want to try to get the motor and tranny in this thing running this week. But any of you guys that ain't watched any of the other videos on the thing, the uh, fish gut is that rust oleum, rusty metal primer. And. Uh, reason I call it fish gut is because when we were kids we used to say the stuff smelled like fish guts and so we just call it putting fish gut on there which it's got fish oil in it of course I never knew that when I was a kid but that's what gives it the smell but you can stick the stuff on there and I mean it'll just seal that up the rusty metal I mean it's cheap stuff you know 
I know people use POR on stuff and it's probably pretty good stuff but if you just got some old rusty metal and, and you put that on there and put some paint on there I mean it'll stay I do all the inner fender wheels on on my old cars with this stuff and then black paint but uh, alright we'll get some black on there tomorrow alright got the motor set in here all bolted in got the front mount in um, actually did some video putting the engine in but my camera screwed up so I'm not gonna put that in there anyhow but yeah finally got it in there I'm gonna take in uh, I'm gonna take the front end out of the thing get it cleaned up and painted and get it in and uh, these pieces here that go around this right here I go around there like that there's one on the top and then this one here goes on the bottom I'm not going to put any gaskets or anything on them things right now I'm just going to bolt them on to that coupler right there because I want to take the rear end out and clean it up too so ain't no sense in you know putting the new gaskets on there or anything but uh yeah here she is all mounted in and ready to go I'm gonna take a break here I think and I'm gonna try to dress the splines up on the steering column I'm gonna get it in so probably try to get this video on later on tonight Well, there it is. Got the steering column in. Got my new steering wheel on. Got the pitman arm hooked up. Just temporarily, anyhow. I'm gonna, like I say, pull the front end out of the thing, but I'm gonna get everything all hooked up on it. And, like I said, I need a. I got a kit to rebuild the water pump and get that on there. Get started on the there's a cow for it. Get started on that and get that mounted. That's about it.